for them, yeah, for both of them. So yes, and here we can say yes either. All right. So Frankie has a busy weekend and uh, Sandra has either. What about number two? Who does she or he like to be with? Their family. Both are the same. They like to be with their family. So Frankie loves to be with his family. Yes. And Sandra either. Family. Uh, what about number three? Does he or she have any pets? Yes. Okay. What are the pets for Frankie? Hedgehog. Oh, two donkeys. What is donkeys? Keledai. Donkeys. Hedgehog or hedgehog? Landa, yeah. Landa. Do you have pets, everybody? At home? What are your pets? Cat. Oh, kalau kita paling bener cats, ya. Yeah. Ada yang hamster, hamster gitu ada enggak? Hamster, ya? Yeah. Oke, okay. uh, what about Alexandra? Dia punya enggak? She doesn't have any, ya? Yeah? No. Oh, iya, yeah, dogs. Three dogs, ya? Yeah? Dogs. Alfie, Prince, Teddy. Alright. Number four. What does she or he do on Friday evening? Friday evening. What about Frankie? Uh, can you give me the information from what paragraph is it? I get, oh yeah, I, it's nice. I get home on a Friday night, put on my pajamas and watch TV, okay? So, the activity is watch TV. It's very noisy. We have five kids. Well, anak lima ya. And a lot of pets. All right, uh, what about Alexandra? What does she do on Friday evening. Cooks, can you give me about the paragraph information? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. On Fridays, I like to have my family to my house. Cook. Cook then. Do you like cooking, everybody? Oh, you don't like cooking. I don't like cooking either. I. Okay. Uh, number five. Does he or she like cooking? Both like cooking. Can you show me where do you get the information about Frankie likes cooking? Oh, yeah. On Saturday night, I sometimes cook. So, yes. So, we'd like to say yes, he does. Yes, yes he does. Bukan yes, he likes, ya. Yeah. Jawabnya tuh does, ya. Yeah. Does he like cooking? Yes, he does. All right. What about Alexandra? Yes. yes. Okay, can you give me the information about the paragraph? Okay, yeah, I always cook. I make spaghetti, spa how do we pronounce it? Spaghetti bolognese, maybe something like spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese, my favorite food. So we answer it here, yes, she does. Okay, and the question takes us to the next question. What food does he or she like? What about Frankie? Italian food, Italian food and Japanese food. Where did you get that information? Okay, the first and the fourth. Uh, obviously, Italian food is my favorite. I'm a big fan of Japanese food as well. So Frankie loves Italian and Japanese food. Look at Helen's answer. Complete the questions. Where do you come from is the question. And the answer is, I'm from Guilford. Uh, what about sentence number two? The answer is, I work for British Airways. Can you guess? Can you guess the question? Who? Ah, who do you? Pakenya do. Who do you work for? Who do you work for? Yeah, because work is kata kerja. I work for British Airways. Number three. What plans? Do ya? Yeah. Do. What plans do you fly? Because fly to work. I fly seven for sevens. 
Number four, where? Yeah, where do you fly to? Where do you fly to? Yeah, I fly to New York. Number five, how much do you earn? Berapa pendapatanmu gitu ya? I earn. 98,000 pounds a year ya. Ini kalau Inggris biasanya ngomongin tuh a year. 98,000 pounds a year. Jadi sebulannya tinggal dibagi 12. <coughs> Number six. Where? Yeah. Where do you go shopping? In New York. I go to Fifth Avenue. Number seven. What is your husband's job? Gitu. Maybe, maybe what's your husband's job? Tapi kok husbandnya kok nggak ada apostrofnya ya? But maybe gini ya, what does your husband do? Mungkin. What does your husband do? Karena ini ekspresi untuk menanyakan pekerjaan kan? Jadi what do you do? I'm a teacher. What does your mother do? She's a doctor misalnya. What does your father do? He is an engineer. Misalnya ya. Coba. Uh, we will check the answer from the recording. What about number eight? Do you have or, or are you have? Do you have? How many dolls do you have? Because have itu kata kerja. So we use do instead of are. Oh, but let, let's check it. Okay. Any questions for this? No. Everything is clear. Yeah. So remember, when you work with a verb, you cannot use to be. Yeah? You have to use do or does. Do or does or did. Pokoknya dari keluarga do ya. If you make a sentence with verb, dari keluarga do yang dipakai. Complete the sentences with a verb from the box. Love is used twice. Love like. One, no, live, prefer. What is prefer? Lebih suka, ya. Yeah. Mean, I mean it. Maksud, ya. Yeah. Aku bersungguh-sungguh gitu ya, mungkin ya. I mean it. Understand, come. The word have has been used for number one. I have two sisters and a brother. Oh, number two. What does this word expensive mean? Ya, yeah, mean. Ini min yang bermakna artinya ya berarti ya. Arti because min kan min itu ya yeah, uh, kata-kata bahasa yang semua maknanya bisa lebih dari satu gitu ya. Min. What does this word expensive mean? Apa arti dari kata ini? It means itu artinya it means it cost a lot of money. Pay attention then that when we use it the means will be with s ya. Number three. I'm hungry. I I want. I want a sandwich. I'm hungry. I want a sandwich. Kalau kita sandwich cemilan ya. Uh, number four. Where do you come from? Where do you come from? Kamu asalnya dari mana? Where do you come from? Or where are you from? Juga boleh. Number five. When can you speak to me? In Japanese. I don't understand number six i i live with my parents in a town called chichibu ini jepang kali ya <coughs> number seven do you do you know do you know yeah do you know what time it is yes it's Ten o'clock. Do you? Do you love me? Of course. I. I love you. I want to marry you. Ini sudah marry semua. Eh, ini ada. <laughs> ini are you all single or maybe some of you are married? <laughs> all of you are, are single. Nobody is married. Oh, great, great. Maybe? Siapa? You will be married, Mas. You will marry someone. Oh, yes. When? Oh, I thought... Oh, yeah. I thought you were serious. Yeah, the only married person is me then, yeah? Uh, how old are you, everyone? 
Are you under 25? Yeah. Under 25, all of you. Some of you are under 25 and some of you are above. Are they above 25? Okay, uh, number nine. Uh, do you like red or white? White wine best. I prefer. I prefer red. Prefer itu biasanya pesan sama tuh ya. I prefer red to the white wine. Gitu misalnya. Uh, next. Okay, the only number. They. Apa ini jawabannya? They like good food so they often go to restaurants. Number seven. Oh, what time it is is correct here because because it is a statement so what time it is nya a statement gitu ya anak kalimat ini questionnya ada di mana questionnya ada di sini do you know ya yeah. jadi kalimat ini punya dua klausa do you know itu questionnya itu tanda tanyanya itu miliknya do you know ya do you know what time it is nya pernyataan ya yeah. questionnya ada pada do you know ya yeah. oke okay. tapi kalau ini lepas lepas dari do you know What time is it ya harus kembali ke what time is it gitu kalau lepas dari do you know gitu ya ya yeah, it is a nice skill to know inversion ya it is a kind of inversion jadi in kalimat tanya in question itu kalau bahasa Inggris itu kan inversi di inversi antara subject dan verb ya yeah. itu salah satu contohnya begini ya what time it is and what time is it it is a question But what time it is it is a A statement uh, about sometimes, never, always, often, usually. It is called frekuensi ya. Frekuensi. Itu halaman berapa ini? Ya, pokoknya kita kerjain ini ya. Coba. So, number one, it has been made into a sentence to be, I always have a shower in the morning. Aku selalu mandi di pagi hari. Uh, do you use a shower or pakai cido water spoon? <laughs> traditional shower <laughs> yeah uh, I also still use uh, traditional shower yeah. manual shower but I think I think for in that case in our case we don't say I always have a shower except if we really have a shower every day uh, I also have a shower but I like I love the water spoon better than the shower but maybe if you have a water spoon you can say I wash up gitu ya I wash up in the morning I always wash up in the morning wash up gitu jadi mencuci badan gitu ya <laughs> wash up or I have a wash up in the morning kalau kita juga uh, do you take a bath nyemplung ke bath do you take a bath or you pakai cidok Yeah, if you take a bath, it means that you nyemplung to the water. So you you go go to the water. It means you take a bath. Itu kalau orang berenang take a bath because mereka berendam gitu ya. Tapi kalau we ya kita kayaknya wash up yang tepat ya. Tapi ya udah kalau mau bilang take a bath ya udah deh itu udah kebiasaan gitu ya. Take a bath. All right. Uh, what about number two? Hi. I sometimes go to the cinema. Yeah, the bioscope. Betul ya? I sometimes go to the cinema. Yeah, okay. Let's go to number three then. We often go to France on holiday. Kali. Kayaknya sih go to France on holiday. We often go to France on holiday okay <coughs> next i i never drink coffee in the morning uh, number five yeah i usually start work at nine yeah I usually start work at nine. Number six. Okay. Liz is often late for school. For school. Okay. Number seven. 
Okay. My dogs are always hungry. <clears throat> okay, maybe you can conclude something here that mostly we use the adverb ya namanya ya. Adverb of frequency before the verb. Always have. Gitu kan? Bukan I have always ya. I always have. I sometimes go. Bukan I go sometimes. We often go. I never drink. I usually start. Usually start work. Worknya di sini jadi kata benda ya ini ya. I usually start work at nine. This is is often late. Nah, kalau ini berpasangan dengan adjektif ya. Often late for school sebelum adjektif. My dogs are always hungry. So most of the adverbs are used before the verbs or before an adjective. 